Should I let go of everything and see what happens? I would recommend yes. But I have to say it is one of the most difficult things to do. Let's explain a little bit of what letting go is. Because it's a nice romantic phrase, but sometimes you don't know exactly what it means, even though you feel it makes sense. You don't know exactly how to let go. We'll start with some examples of holding on. And we will start with the most common problem people have. A relationship. When you find yourself that you are struggling to keep a relationship, to hold on to a relationship, or to keep the other person happy so that the other person can stay, this means that maybe you're not meant to be in this relationship anymore. Maybe this relationship is not for you anymore. It was for you at one point, but obviously, obviously the soul learned what it wanted to learn it experienced what it wanted to experience. It expressed what it wanted to express through a relationship. And now it is time to move on. So in this case, letting go would be not worrying about keeping the other person happy so the other person can stay. Not walking on eggshells, as they say, so that the other person will not get mad or will not get upset. And going out of your way to do things so that, that the other person can decide that it is worth staying in this relationship. When you don't do all these things, that is letting go. That's one way of letting go. Family. So many people try to keep their family together. We're talking about usually adult children or like 17, 18, 19 year old children. And one of the parents is trying to keep everything together. Just think for a moment that maybe these people are not meant to have a good relationship with each other anymore. Not meant to like each other anymore. They have gotten into their own life paths and their paths are very different from each other. So if you can realize this, then you will stop trying to keep the family together. And this would be letting go. This would be another uh, version of letting go. A house. Many times we are in a situation where we might lose the house or we cannot really afford it anymore and we need to scale down, get a smaller house. And we do whatever we can trying to keep this house and we find excuses like, I like it here, I'm happy here, my soul is happy here. But the truth of the matter is, if your soul were happy there, it would not be difficult for you to keep the house. So, what is really happening here is, your status will, will go down in society and in your friendship circles if you lose the house. And this is why you are trying to hold on. And then you miss out on other things in life because you are actually blocking. When you're trying to hold on to something that is finished, you're blocking the new things from coming to you. So in this case, you say, you know what, let them take the house. Or, you know what, I will go to a smaller house. So that I can have more money left for other things. Because 
In the majority of cases, people do not lose their money overnight. In the majority of cases. It can take two to three years to lose your money. And you would not have to lose it all if you started letting go from the beginning. When you realize that you're starting to struggle to keep something, let it go. Let it go. Thank it. Say to the house, thank you for all you have given me, for all the experiences. I'm now ready for another one and go to a smaller house or a smaller apartment. It doesn't matter what your friends will think. You have come here for you, not for your friends. See, this is the biggest reason we cannot let go and let our soul guide us. Because what would our friends say? So, this is why it's so difficult to let go many times. It's not because we are obsessed or possessive of a person or a house or a job. It's like my friends are with me because of this house. They like me because of this house. <coughs> Excuse me. Everybody knows I'm in this relationship and I've told everybody I am happy. So I have to try and keep it. And then we find excuses, Hollywood excuses, like a relationship is all about give and take. A relationship is about sacrifice. Actually, it's not. A relationship is no giving at all. If you have to give to have a relationship, it's not magic. It's not natural. So, in the reality we are going into now, more and more of us will simply have to let go of everything and see what happens. Also, one of the reasons so many of us are unhealthy is because the time has come for us to let go and we do not let go. We try to hold on. And then after months and months or years of doing this, the body cannot take it anymore. And the cells shrivel up. They are not healthy anymore. Now, you might think, how do I know if I'm not letting go? Struggle. Whenever you are struggling, it is because you are not letting go. And because you have set you are attached sorry you are attached to an outcome and you say this is the way i want it and then you start struggling to get it this particular way when the universe could give it to you in many other ways as well if you are meant to have it at this moment because as we say almost in every video Lessons come first on earth, not you having things. There's nothing wrong with having things, but because earth is a school, lessons will always come first. So if you having things, and we're not just talking about material things, we're talking about, let's say, a relationship, let's say, a family. If you are meant to have it, you will. If you are not meant to have it for whatever reason, but you insist, the universe and the soul will say, okay, if you insist, but they're not exactly going to help you get it. You're going to have to go and get it yourself, simply because you're insisting. It's like someone who was born to be a dancer, but they insist on becoming a doctor because this is what they were told is good and they struggle to become a doctor and they work very hard at this 
this is what this is how you know you are not letting go whenever you are struggling and whatever comes easy is because it's meant to be so simply ask yourself one thing at a time you cannot do everything in one day what is it I'm struggling for and then close your eyes take a slow deep breath put one of your hands on your heart chakra right in the center of your chest and ask your body how will I feel if I stop wanting this outcome let's say you are struggling to be a doctor how will I feel if I let go of my need to be a doctor take slow deep breaths after that and remain there for a few minutes with your eyes shut and just go into the feeling of how you will feel now you might say I've already studied two or three years for this yes you have but is it worth being unhappy for the rest of your life think about it is it worth having a shorter life because you are not doing what you have come here to do and then <clears throat> don't ask silly questions like well okay what have I come here to do then that's just silly stop doing the things you have not come here to do and then the things you have come here to do will automatically find you because we have come here for a lot more than just one thing so it's very difficult to find out what we've come here to do but it's very easy to find out what you have not come here to do whatever does not come naturally that is what you have not come here to do now many times I'll have a client that have that has problems with the family and when the soul shows them that it's because you haven't really come here for a family then the client will say okay so if I don't have a family what will I do then you see we have been convinced from the time we can practically think for ourselves no, from the time we are children that the purpose of life is family and we think if we don't have a family what else is there? but there is so much more But in order to find this so much more you will first need to let go of trying to keep something that is no longer for you this now if you do have a family this does not mean you're going to go and drown your children it means you will let go of wanting a certain outcome yes you have a family that is messy you have a family that doesn't get along yes you have a family that is annoying annoying as hell to everybody but if you let go of not wanting them to be like this life will become so much easier most of the reasons families are difficult is because they are not what we would like them to be so that other people can look at our family and say what a wonderful family first of all anyone who says this is of a lower intelligence because anyone who has an IQ above 80 meaning an IQ above retarded knows that no family is wonderful knows that families have problems 
knows that families are made up of very different individuals and that every individual has their own path. So you are letting people with a low IQ keep you unhappy. You are letting people with a low IQ be the definition of what your family uh, give you, sorry, give you the definition of what your family should be like. And you are not enjoying your family, and you never will, and you probably never have, simply because they were not what you wanted them to be. If you stop this, this is what letting go is. Just let them be. Some brothers and sisters have actually come from two different galaxies. How could they possibly get along? How could they possibly love each other? And when did we come up with the idea that brothers and sisters should love each other? What is this? Why? Why on earth should souls that come from different galaxies love each other? This is how you are holding on and you become miserable and then you get cancer and then you die and you have not enjoyed anything. In order to enjoy things you need to let them be and you need to accept them for what they are. So accept your family for the mess that it is. Because if family were not a mess, you would not be learning anything at all. And if you would not be learning anything at all, there would be no reason for you to have a family. So when your fam when you excuse me next time you notice your family is not the way you want it to be ask yourself what am i learning by having a family and that way you will focus on what your family has to give you which are experiences which are lessons So that's what letting go is all about. Accepting things for the way they are and letting go of the need for them to be different. This is really one of the biggest sources of human suffering. We want things to not be the way they are. I will leave it at this.